Hello everybody, Paul Y. Rostec, spiritual teacher, channeler of healing, universal oneness, and I'd like to do a little energy update on what's happening today. As you all know, well maybe all of you know, February 2nd, probably have seen it all over Facebook and everywhere, February 2nd. 2020, so we have this 2222 two, two, two portal, if you will, transition, if you will, and it ha it's been like 900 years since there's been a date like this, okay? So we're talking huge transformation, huge, huge transition. Even if we eliminated this whole 2222 thing, you know, it's not just this 900 year transition that's happening. Yes, of course, it's very powerful. Everything that happens in the astrology, everything that happens in the universe is very powerful. We are all connected. But this is, this is not just collectively around the world. But this is individualized as well. So we're going through a transitional period of releasing a lot of old energy and stepping into a new paradigm that may be very uncomfortable. It takes a lot of surrender it takes a lot of pulling up of inner wisdom. This transformation that we are all going through means a lot of letting go of the past, a lot of letting go of old ways, a lot of letting go of old habits. I've said it many times, this is a complete transformation. And a lot of things that may surface from the past is for you to clean up, put the cover on the jar, put it on a shelf. You may find there's a lot of situations from your past that are surfacing in order to be healed, completed. There's also the, the feeling of surrendering, letting go. It brings vulnerability. It brings the the ego to a point to where it wants to run backwards again or potentially to run backwards again. But this time, there's something different. This time, you know that going backwards will not serve you. It will not quench the thirst A lot of people are going through um, a lot of physical changes right now. There's a lot happening with the astral body. There's a lot happening through all aspects of who we are. A massive transition into becoming your true, authentic self. And as we go through these inner personal transitions, as well as the world transitioning on its own, collectively, we are helping hold down that frequency. We're holding that grid so that the external, the collective consciousness can shift. And anytime there's a shift like this, there is 
energetic manipulations, whether it's government, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, these viruses and all this other stuff happening. To cloak, to smoke and mirror, to make us feel that something is wrong out there. But it's not. Everything is fine right where it is. A lot of the fear that's portrayed or put out there to us is not truth. It's control. So being empaths, being beings of unconditional love, we can pick up on things that's happening out there in the collective mass consciousness. And it takes that time first thing in the morning to not react, but observe, to be able to decipher what is you and what is external that you're picking up on? Waking up, connecting to source as soon as possible by simply acknowledging universal oneness, your higher self, and that you are unconditional love. And that together, whoever's watching this, whenever it's watched, thank you for sharing, liking, commenting, subscribing. That as we are here together, that we are thanking Universal Oneness for the clarity today, whenever this is watched, try this. That we're thanking Universal Oneness for giving you the clarity of what belongs to you and what does not belong to you. That we are separating from mass consciousness, from the collective, from the out there, to show all of you what feelings, thoughts, and emotions truly belong to you and what are the ones that we have woken up to that are external. Because it's very important to understand and decipher and separate from what's going on out there to what's going on within you. This doesn't mean that we don't care. It doesn't mean that, that we're, you know, um, we're not disconnecting in a negative way. It's just understanding that this transition, these, this inner transition and this outer transition needs to happen on their own now. Twenty twenty. Yes, I've said it many times. We are all going through these massive life changes, and they are for the better. And this is the reward, if you will, for all the hard work that you have done on your spiritual path, your spiritual journey, becoming your true, authentic self. At the same time, we're getting this reward, the ego may like to think, and it is. The outer world is shifting tremendously. So you don't want your energetic reward being blended in, smoke and mirrored with the, the breaking down of governments, the breaking down of systems out there. Because 2020 is the beginning of massive external transitions, school systems, oil company, uh, science, NASA, you name it. Everything is going to go through its own original transformation, transition. Even though our lives are heading into the path of the highest of good for us to experience, that we're going through our own releasing. Think of how big this external clearing is. That's what's going on inside you. 
But what Bank and Universal One is for giving you the clarity today on what feelings, thoughts, and emotions are yours and what are external energies that you're picking up on at the same time because it's real easy for the two to be blended together. So take today to get out in the sun, to walk around, get in nature, exercise, eat well. And that we are walking the walk together, yet individually, to our future now. The life of divine bliss in the physical form. But this takes a lot of shedding. It takes a lot of letting go. A lot of it is mentally, mental triggers, emotional triggers. We're still in a very powerful Akashic Record healing for those of you that were in it. So there's a lot going on, right? February 13th begins the Akashic, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, eight-day chakra clearing activation. For those, of you, for those of you that are interested, you could check it out on my website. I'll be posting a link soon. Eight days of chakra clearing and activation. It's about a week and a half away. So I know we've been going through a lot of transitionings. I've been doing a lot of healings. A lot of group healings, a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions. And I can see patterns over this. And what I'm seeing is there's, we go through layers and layers and layers, then all of a sudden we blend into the timeline of the earth, of the collective as a whole. And then we all make, we're all making this big transition together at the same time. All right? Hope I'm making sense to somebody. So this this may be explain this may explain to you what you're feeling, why it feels like this disconnection, even from source or from your higher self. Yesterday, today, maybe tomorrow, the next day. I don't feel that this is going to be a long thing, but I do, I do want to acknowledge that there is this blending of energy that can really seem to magnify what you're experiencing. Okay, so we're thanking you, Universal Oneness and our higher selves for giving us the clarity today of what belongs to us and was, what does not, and that we are releasing it with unconditional love and giving this back to Universal Oneness. That we're holding space today. That we're holding the energy of unconditional love for the world, for the planet. Not just us. But that we're here to shift the planet as well. And that with this love that we are sending out, that we are evaporating the fear that the matrix is putting out there. Because anytime there's a shift and a movement towards ascension and light... The lack matrix knows it and sends out all its little henchmen to bring doubt, fear, we're going to die, this is bad. How many times, you know, it depends on your age, but how many times have we been through things like this? Looking like the world's going to die and it doesn't. So don't get blended into anything that's going on out there. Do the opposite of, oh, this is bad, so let's feel bad. No, feel good. You want to shift the planet? Do the opposite of what you're feeling. Go out and have an amazing friggin' day. Laugh your ass off. That's how you heal. That's how we shift the planet. Love to all of you from Universal Oneness. From your higher self to you, let it be done, and so it is done.